With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Hi, hello everyone. Let C1 and C2 be two circles with C2 lying inside C1. A circle C lying inside C1 touches C1 internally and C2 externally. So statement 1 is locus of center locus of center of C is an ellipse and statement 2 says the locus of the point which moves such that the sum of its distance from two fixed point is a constant greater than the distance between the two fixed point is an ellipse. Now we have to tell which one is correct. So first of all let us make the figure. So now as we can see this in figures C1 is the big circle, C is this circle and C2 is this circle. And we can say that the radius of C is R, C1 is R1 and C2 is R2. So now let equations of C1 be x, x square plus y square is equals to R1 square and C2 will be x minus a square plus y minus b square is equals to r2 square. Now let center C be h comma k with radius r. Then by given condition we get under root h minus a square plus k minus b square is equals to r plus r2 and we know that so it becomes h square plus k square is equals to r1 minus r. Now Therefore, it becomes h minus a whole square plus k minus b whole square plus h square plus k square is equals to r1 plus r2 putting this value here. So, the required locus be x minus a square plus y minus b square plus x square plus y square is equals to r1 plus r2 as we can see that it represent ellipse whose foci is a comma b and 0 comma 0. So we can say that both the statements are true and 2 is correct explanation of 1. So, A is the correct answer. Hope you guys understand this. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.